there. This video is part of our Camp Evergreen series, which is about making cool things, earning badges, and discovering new skills. My name is Anna, and I'm one of the library's teen services librarians. Today, I'm going to tell you about letterboxing and show you how to make a homemade stamp you can use for this really fun activity. Letterboxing is a hobby that combines elements of treasure hunting and creative expression. Letterboxers hide small boxes in publicly accessible places, like parks and libraries, and distribute clues to finding the box in printed catalogs, on websites, or by word of mouth. Individual letterboxes contain a notebook and a rubber stamp, preferably hand-carved or custom-made. Finders can make an imprint of the letterbox's stamp in their personal notebook and leave an impression of their own stamp on the letterbox's visitor's book or logbook as proof of having found the box and letting other letterboxers know who has visited. Let's go ahead and make some stamps of our own. Here are a few things you'll need to have on hand. Foam sheets, scissors, pens or markers, your bottle caps, ink, and glue. Corks, potatoes, spools, and pretty much anything with a textured and reasonably flat surface can be used to stamp or print on paper. Making a bottle cap stamp is super quick. Start with a bottle cap. Consider your size when thinking about letterboxing logbooks. Next, take a piece of foam and think about what you want to draw. I've been really into bubble tea lately, so I drew bubble tea. After you've got your design all drawn out, you're going to take your pair of scissors and cut it out. It's okay if you don't get it perfectly on the lines because no one is going to see that part. If it really bothers you when you go to glue it down, you can just flip it over. The next step is to glue your shape onto the bottle cap. If you want it to be a little bit taller and better for stamping, you can always double up on the foam shapes. Once the glue is dry, voila, you've got your bottle cap stamp. Oh, and remember what I said about getting creative? To add a little bit more dimension to my stamp, I'm going to take the tip of a pen and press it in where I want the bubbles. Once your stamp is dry, take your favorite color ink and test it out. Make sure to press firmly on that ink pad and stamp it onto paper. After you leave your impression, include a trail name or nickname instead of your real personal information. And don't forget to put the letterbox back right where you found it with its stamp and its logbook inside for others to find. I hope you enjoyed learning about letterboxing and making your own stamp. If you've been inspired, come find the letterboxes in our library branches. We would love to see your stamps and share in your letterbox finding success, so don't forget to tag us on your social media posts. Happy letterboxing!